when the messengers of John the Baptist had left, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out to the desert to see and a read? Is wind by the wind? Then what did you go out to see? Someone dressed in fine garments. Those who dress luxuriously and live substantially are found in royal palaces. Then what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom Scripture says, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way before you. I tell you, among those born of women, no one is greater than John. Yet, the least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. All the people who listen, including the tax collectors who were baptized with the baptism of John, acknowledge the righteousness of God, but the Pharisees and the scholars of the law, who were not baptized by him, rejected the plan of God for themselves. The Gospel of the Lord. I always remember Paul Clauder's phrase, of whom, while reflecting on his life, asked himself a question, What have I made of the young man I was? That is to say, What have I made of the resolutions of my youth, of the good desires, perhaps? I don't know if any of them ever had it, but the desire to change the world, to set things right, what have I made of the young man I was? Where have I been bearing him? Well, today the gospel ends with the sentence that it is similar to what I have just said. Those Pharisees and professors of the law frustrated God's plan for them. How terrible! Because those people were also loved by God. Also, those people, on the other hand, good people, experts, even in the knowledge of the law and in the meticulous fulfillment and of the multiple recepts of the Judaism, those people, too, had God's plan for them. What could have happened if instead of closing themselves to the coming of the Messiah, of not wanting to recognize in the Son of Man, the God with us, that Emmanuel, what could have happened if he had been the other way around? They could have discovered the infinite love of God. They could have had to change some things that Jesus taught them. He asked them to change. They could have become great apostles with enormous wisdom. They already had. The Jewish people present, present not only throughout the Roman Empire, the diaspora was immense, but even among the countries of which they were enemies, the Romans, as for example the present Iran, then Parthia, the evangelization could have been brilliant. There was a design of God on them that was frustrated. The situation could even become extraordinarily difficult, not only for the death of the Lord that actually took place because they did not accept the design of God, but that had as a benefit the resurrection, the redemption, but also in the attacks on the nascent church it is enough to see what St. Paul had to suffer. Then, what happens when God's plan for each one of us is frustrated? Each one of us must ask himself. Of course, we consecrate a person in the first place. I ask myself, what could have happened if I had not accepted the Lord's call and had not become a priest, for me, I could have been happy, 
for the people I have helped in every way, spirituality, economically, what could have happened? And so each one of us has a plan of God, a plan in which we are protagonists and benefited, benefited but we are also beneficiaries. We are beneficent once because there is nothing better than doing God's will for oneself. However, we are beneficiaries, we are channels that carry water to others. That is to say, through us, many people will receive God or help. They will receive that what God has planned for them. Perhaps the Lord will have to write a string with crooked lines and raise another or other, but of course, it cannot be the same. What could have happened if St. Francis had remained selling clothes in the company of his father, Pietro Bernardone? What could have happened to the church? It could have gone on. Of course, St. Francis was not the founder of the church, but it could not have been the same. And if St. Teresa of Jesus had Mary as planet, she was the daughter of a very good family. What could have happened? Or if St. Ignatius had not founded the Society of Jesus? And the, just to mention a few names, what if St. Teresa of Calcutta, Mother Teresa, had not started to pick up beggars in the streets to prevent them from being eaten by rats? What could have happened? Let us ask ourselves this question. What does God want from me? What is God's plan for me? For my sake, for my sake, for the sake of others. What has become of the young man I was? What has became of God's plan for me? Let us ask God to enlighten us to know what He wants from us to give us a strange, the grace to do what we must do and to have mercy when we don't succeed it. Amen.